Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Wendigo's episode 130, which originally streamed live on Twitch. I like how we got cracked by a Doomsday Launcher, but it wasn't a launch. It was actually just a thunk with the Doomsday Launcher, and he was just like, oh, okay. I mean, you're holding a tactical nuke and you're bashing me over the head with it? Sure. Uh, I am definitely going to have to smelt slag. And in fact, I'm going to get Mel to start the slag smelting now. Hey, Mel, how do you feel about... Uh, what did I have you do? Take wake up. Don't pick up 52 wake up. I'm going to have Mel just glue himself to the smelter to try to clean some of this up. Who was in that raid? I honestly have no idea. I don't think their leader was, though. That was the Queen's Anne Revenge with um, Edward Blackbeard Be Teach. Uh, I could check corpses, I suppose. No, I don't see any Blackbeards here. Or Teaches. Alright, I'm going to prop this uh, steel door open so that we can get through the slag pile. Oh, what was that? That was a uh, an anonymous tip. Bash me over the head with a tech nuke. <laughs> it's my kink. Thank you, Anonymous. So Zertrana is the only one falling behind on flu tending, but I don't think that will remain true for very long. Everybody else is in the green or yellow. I do have them on all uh, high priority bed rest, so they should be okay. Uh, one obvious thing that we're gonna need. Oh, Zleb just got infected. So Mallet, go tend. Uh, one thing that we're going to want to do is to put the butcher table back and start butchering them up. So I'll get that going. And then uh, Callie, join me. Oh, you have the flu. Callie, get resting. Shredder, I'm going to have join me on the slagging because our base is full of slag and it's going to be a problem. Uh, I don't need any more underground scanning, so Glitch and Slast go do more productive other things. I also... um. Yeah, that calf. Blood complex. Congratulations to you. That was long overdue. I got kind of busy. But now you are a bison calf. Butcher table is restored. It only has butcher creature, which is butcher humanoids. So butcher humans. But that's fine. I don't have any animals to butcher right now anyway, so it's not a problem. Uh, this hospital is barely dirty. We're working on it. Get rid of that. Uh, so Eli, you need... Okay, yeah, you do need meds. So Malak, get up there. Patch him up. So, one day down in the ship reactor. And then if you're wondering, Shroomzy has 17 days left here. So the ship reactor and Shroomzy's tenure here in our home are going to end roughly at the same time. Roughly. Uh, I'll probably have Mallet. I'm going to free Mallet up because all of the people that are resting right now are probably going to need to be fed. And he needs to go pray at the... Okay, yeah. Keep Viper away from the drugs on the floor? Mm, I mean, I could. Uh, that sounds a little responsible. I'm not known for my responsibility. We'll see. Man, they really came to party, didn't they? They Kool-Aid man through my roof and brought doomsday launchers and triple launchers. They were they were really uh, gunning for me. I mean, it's too bad that they suck, but they came close. Hey, animals, there is never going to be anything in this room for you to haul ever, ever, ever. So get the heck out. The second ship reactor is only to feed the current priority, the current focus that's above my head, which is to get 15,000 human meat. Think of it as like a nuclear lure, lure for me to attract more humans to butcher. That's, that's pretty, pretty literally what it is to me. So we have about 19 slag left to pull out of our base 
The hospital is now only slightly dirty, so the infection chance should drop pretty considerably. Don't see that, or uh, Randy will send more guys through my roof. Need a difficulty level where enemies use side casting effectively? Yeah, that has been mentioned. I, you know, I think that would be cool, but also I think that... Oh my god! Wow! What the hell? A vitals monitor short-circuited because it is unroofed. And it set all of my patients on fire. <laughs> yep. Alright, I think it's about time to put the roof back. Um, yep. I should have realized that my builders would be inefficient and slow. And, uh... Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Everybody that is currently has the flu, now their fever's running a little hot. <laughs> Just a little, alright, let me make sure that this gets roofed up. It's also very cold, I suppose, because I haven't had a roof on it. Alright, there we go. So it's roofed up now. Uh, whoops. Just a little whoops. You know, uh, I'll use industrial meds. No, I'm going to use... Yeah, I'll use industrial meds. I have enough herbal. Cauterized all those wounds. They had the flu, though. They didn't... They didn't have wounds. I mean, they do now, but... They didn't before. Um... Okay, we're almost done getting all the garbage out of here. It's already, uh, sterile. Which is good. Hey, they used to do medical treatments like that. They used to cure, uh, what was it, syphilis by giving people malaria? Because having a really, really high fever from malaria would actually kill the syphilis. And at the time, we knew how to cure malaria but not syphilis. So the cure for syphilis was quite literally giving you malaria. Until, you know, we got better at the whole medicining. So there is a precedent for setting people on fire. There was also, um, what is it called? There's like a medical chamber that would raise your body temperature like that purposely. Uh, same sort of idea. Burn the virus out. But we do have some untended people, which is not gonna stand. There's a difference between giving them malaria and setting them on fire. Uh... Yeah, there is. Is there a difference to a Wendigo? Mm, I don't know. That's a different question. The fact that we even have a hospital as Wendigo is is a little weird. So I'm just trying to t to to tend the the flu here, uh, not really worrying about the burns because the burns kind of don't matter to me. It is low-key a waste of medicine to tend the, the burns, in my opinion. So, Eslotus and Raptor are the only ones that need treatment now. If you go by lore, Wendigos are super scared of fire. Yeah, I mean, I get that, though, lore-wise. Even in this, we don't like fire, because A, all of our carpets are flammable, and B, um, our meat would be ruined by the heat and the flames. We kind of like raw cannibalism a little bit, which is strange that we have electric stoves, but yeah, no, it makes sense. Fun fact, most living things are scared of fire. Yep. Life as we know it, not very, uh, or pretty flammable. What's nice is my uh, Luciferium survived. I was, that was another worry that I had, was that the Luciferium would perish. So I'm just pasting over my my meals here. So we have both benches up. You're curious what living thing isn't afraid of fire? Well, there are some um, there's some species of trees that actually rely on fire to propagate. They rely on um, forest fires, naturally occurring forest fires. So. 
trees don't fear fire so much, but some trees actually rely on fire to spread. So I think that would be a case where fire is actually useful for life and not a, a, a hindrance. There's, um... There's also species that live off of hydrothermic vents. So it's not fire per se, but it is temperatures that would absolutely boil most of what organic life would tolerate. So that's another instance of organisms preferring unbelievable temperatures. Again, not technically fire, but very fire-like. Some of those xenophiles. Tardigrades aren't afraid of nothing. Yeah, well, they're also, as far as we know, not that conscious either. All right, what is our meat at? 9,000. It's looking good. You just noticed I have 27k silver? Yeah, I really don't have anything to spend it on. Uh, let me call in another caravan. So most of these flues are probably just about done. Nope, uh, not even close. Let's preach health to Mama Raptor. I'm guessing Moles is further along than most others because she was the first preach health target. So let's see. No, God, she's only 34%. Man, this is one of those long hauling flu symptoms. But nobody's in the red, so that's all that matters. A grand monument of silver. Uh, so, grand... I would probably not make a grand sculpture. I would make a Wendigo monument. And a Wendigo monument costs uh, 400 ingredients times 10 for when it's silver. So, 4,000. So, I could make a few of those. The grand sculptures are the same cost. But if I'm going to make something grand, it would be Wendigo. And I, I, I would be down to do it. If and when Moles recovers, and if and when Moles gets inspired. I could do it. You bet Immuno Enhancers would sound good right now? Yeah. Immuno Enhancers are good, but they don't provide that much benefit, honestly, um, compared to their cost. So the Immuno Enhancers are four, uh, 15 Plasteel and 4 Advanced Components, which is pretty expensive. And then... They only really give you a tiny bit of immunity speed gain, which is um, easily obtained from having nice beds and a vitals monitor. So it's an enormous cost for very little benefit. I'm not saying that it's not a benefit because of course there is no, like it doesn't take up a slot or anything, right? Like you can have an immuno enhancer and it doesn't, it, you know, it's, you're not spending space or whatever, but it's not a huge amount of benefit for its cost compared to healing enhancers, which are so much better uh, than immuno enhancers. So that's why you don't tend to see me use it. It's, it's not very beneficial in the scheme of things. Uh, we need some feeding here. Unfortunately, well, Eli, I'm going to wake you up. There we go. Now we're actually tending them. We had a bunch of the flu people that just weren't getting tended to. You're just messing with me? Well, I just want to explain why you don't tend to see me use immuno hazards. So I know you're messing with me, but I think it's actually worth pointing out that immu the uh, the enhancers are, are not great in terms of the benefits that, that they give you which is why I almost always ignore them. Metabolism also indirectly affects immunity gain speed and, and no food poisoning. Well, it depends on the stomachs. Bionic stomachs um, still give you food poisoning, as does... Um, what are the other ones called? As does the reprocessor stomachs. It's just the detoxifier and the nuclears don't give you food poisoning. The regular bionic stomach... The benefit of the regular bionic stomach over the other stomachs is it makes you immune to gut worms and you can't get hit by EMP. Did they uninstall my art? What the hell? 
They did. What? 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 <laughs> they were trying to steal it or something? Um, so the all of the royalty stomachs, the reprocessor, the detoxifier, and the nuclear um, are vulnerable to EMP. But everything that we have is vulnerable to EMP. You know, we have so many implants that if you EMP'd us, we'd go nighty nights. I can't, uh, I can't pet Ekor Tusk. The door is closed. I can't call them in. They have no way to even get here. Sorry. Yeah, one of the, uh, the fine print of that redemption is they, you have to see them around me. Normally I would call them in, but they can't even arrive even if they wanted to. So we're at about 9k meat. We still have, uh, 12 corpses to butcher. We're in pretty good position. Hey, uh, Viper, you want me to test the EMPs on you? I don't want to just EMP you for funsies, but if you don't mind to be a guinea pig, I could guinea pig you up if you, uh, if you volunteer. So, if you're wondering what happens, it, it just stuns them. It's it's sort of like a psychast stun, but it lasts a little bit longer. It's also a very effective way to um, knock out royals, but also consider that most royals have death acidifiers, so if you knock them out in that way, you don't really get anything from them, because the moment they're, they're down, their gear will go sploof, and you will lose it. Oh, you'll do it for wake-up. Uh, all right. I'm gonna hit you first and then wake you up after. That's probably a better benefit. So here we go. Here's an example of EMPing, knocking people out. Um, who's your... Apollo is your friend. So let's have your friend do it. Now, although he's sick. So Mallet, you're gonna do it. Is the ship area storage considered inside? Yes, it is. It's been considered inside for a while. So EMP grenades or EMP launchers will work. And boom. He's now brain shocked. There we go. So bionic stomachs won't cause you to get brain shocked, but the reprocessor detoxifier nuclear stomachs will, which is the difference between the two. But since uh, most enemies don't use EMPs, it's really like a not ish a non-issue. You don't need to worry about it so much. And he's already up. It's a very short period, as you can see. But it's a good bonk. And promise fulfilled. I'll do it for wake up. Some other... Oh, uh, someone I just clicked on was immune. Oh, that's the head defection. Never mind. Okay. Well, there you go. A little wake up. How does the stomach help against that? It doesn't help. What I'm saying is the stomachs, the reprocessor, detoxifier, nuclear stomachs make you vulnerable to EMP shock. Whereas the bionic one does not. The bionic one, all it does is it uh, raises your metabolism and your rest fall rate. Oh, here we go. Raid of the colonies? Preparing a while. Oh, that's going to be a big raid. Two of them. Um, whereas the regular bionic stomach does not make you vulnerable to EMP shock. So that's the difference. Uh, how to deal with these raids? So let's see. I have Doomsday Launchers, which I could use. Obviously, I have uh, seven of them. I still have an Antigrain Warhead. Regular Mortar Shelling. Psy Casting, or whatever I want. Gonna have you vote on this. Maybe not for the full two and a half minutes, but um, this is a lot of enemies. Now, the thing is, if I use a lot of Doomsday Launchers and Antigrain Warheads, uh, it's quite possible that the meat that I get from this gets vaporized, but given that I have almost half of my population sick right now, 
uh, vaporizing my meat might be better than having people lost. So this southern group is 51 strong, and then the northern group is 41 strong. So there's 92 enemies, and none of them have doomsday level weapons or triple launchers or anything like that, but they're not weak. They're not weak at all. And OJ, thank you for, or I'll just call you your full name. OJ Childish, because you're not, you know, riding the white Bronco. Thank you for the follow. And <laughs> Viz Reki, thank you for the follow as well. And Cypher for the bits. So what do you guys think? Oh, I just screwed up my poll. Oh no, okay, there it is. Uh, whatever I want's kind of winning. I wouldn't mind mortaring one of them. With the big nuke? No. I take that back. I take that back. This is a really good, like, uh-oh kind of weapon. And this raid is not one of those uh-oh scenarios. So... I will do regular mortar shelling, but the problem is, do I even have the shooters for that? I'm not quite sure. One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six. All right. Shroomzy. Yeah, you can't shoot at all. Is this uh, zone technically inside? No. So for us to reload, we're going to need to add it to the inside zone. All right, let me hide that. Regular mortar shelling, kind of do whatever I want. Uh, so then the other thing I could do for the north group is send glitch to them. Oh, there's actually something else. Uh, let me call on my allies because I have so much stuff to give to them. I've got thousands and thousands of things to give to them. So I'll call in military aid and hope that they don't bust up my roof again. So they're coming in to the north group. They're probably not going to fare all that well, but I'm going to have Glitch escort them to see if Glitch can turn the tide of the battle with Psycast. So the southern group I'm going to try to shell, and the northern group I'm going to try to um, Psycast and uh, ally. What is the end game for this series again? Going to space, and we already have the ship built. So right now I'm working on the goal that's above my head, if you can read it, which is to acquire 15,000 meat for the final ceremony. Who's missing? Ven, and you are not close at all. So, launch. That should be pretty gnarly. All right, and the transport pod with the anti-grain is loaded. Good, good, good. Accurate mortars. I like it. I like how these guys aren't even fighting back yet. Uh, that's funny. All right, let's um not try to to mortar them where the last mortars landed because it will destroy corpses. That was really accurate. So, in order to explain why it's accurate, uh, one of the latest patches in RimWorld introduced. Uh, this concept, which is classic mortars versus updated mortars. So classic mortars don't use barrels to reload and they don't rely on shooting skill. Now they rely on shooting skill where at level eight shooter, it mortars are about as accurate as they used to be. But as you get higher level shooting, they get more accurate. So all of my shooters here are like 17 shooting and higher, which means they're insanely capable at mortaring targets accurately. Which is why having a volley of mortars, I know that they're all basically all going to hit within five to ten cells of the target. Uh, so if you like classic mortars, not having to reload them, you can click this button here. But if you like the new accurate mortars, and it can cut both ways. 
Accurate mortars can be used against you in sieges. If the sieging enemy that is attacking you um, has particularly high shooting skill, they're going to land a lot better shots. I'm not so sure about um, auto mortars, though. I don't know what the accuracy of auto mortars are uh, off the top of my head. If they're like an 8 or a 10 or something like that. Uh, I am actually going to have my mortar group mortar up here and soften this north group up uh, for the military aid. Because these guys, most of them are like bl bloody and injured and they're not really going to pose much of a threat once they arrive. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. They're moving too soon. So, I'll, I'll, I'll show you... I'll try to show you as best as I can. I have all my mortars aiming for this spot here. And we'll see how close they get to the target. So, first shell is, like... Three away, the next shell is seven away. The next shell is maybe three away. And let's have you all hold target now. Just load those mortars up. My uh, military aid is absolutely getting traumatized here. So let's see. Choice Berserks. Taking some of their best armor, best geared, and making them turn. And then... Glitch will get out of here. I'm not worried about the remaining of this group. Looks like I haven't uh, ruined a lot of meat, though, which is good. So... Everybody now that is able-bodied and not sick, minus Shroomzy, come rendezvousing out here. And we'll, uh, I guess it's just 10, 10 of 19 of us. And we'll kill the rest. Yeah, North is on fire a little bit. Some bodies will get ruined, but we do have the reactor raids going, so I'm not that worried about um, losing too much. Should be fine. Four, make a line. The shooters. So the north group is making assault on us as well. So brave, so stupid. Is this everyone in the selfie? Everyone minus Ven. Ven, you are so slow today. Constantly waiting on you, dude. No, it wasn't my shield belt that broke. Alright, that's good. Uh, glitch. Combat command. All right, Southern Group is fleeing. Northern Group is coming to me. But I'm going to chase down the Southern Group so that there's not too many survivors because that's a lot of um, meat to leave on the table. And of course, we are, like, missing embarrassingly. Come on now. Goodness. Yeah, we got most of them. All right. Most of this raid is going through our uh, flaming kill box. Some is coming the back way. So the ones going to the back way. Oh, there's also the southern group, but I'm going to let them go because I need to go defend the base. So it's the one coming the back way, we will be able to kill quickly, and then we'll go rendezvous into the uh, kill box area. So I'm going to use some chem fuel to speed up my movement. I don't want these dinguses damaging my base. 
Was that guy's name Mega Scarab? It was. Wow, that is a name only a parent could love. All right, let's get to the the uh, the kill box entryway and kill the rest. Taking a look at my oh, Raptor is ninety six percent immune. Some of them need tending now, but I'm simply not going to be able to tend them at the moment. Uh, we're going to have to... Uh, you know what, Eli, I take that back. Oh, Raid Blackfoot. Attacking immediately in the breachers. So, Eli, go doctor. Man, that flu is really nasty. That's all I'm going to say. And Mallet, you're going to be largely responsible for the southern breaching raid. Red Raid lights, I think, are appropriate. Uh, glitch, I'm probably not going to need you here, so just dip out, my friend. Um, Barbara, I'm going to have you escort uh, Mallet just in case he needs backup. And let's get my shooters ready for this nonsense. Actually, Glitch, you have combat command. I want you present just for the combat command alone. Ben, Viper, Ducks... All right, puppy treats, sure thing. Yoda. Actually, there was peanuts here that he's been ignoring. Buddy. Hold on one second. All right, so now we have stacked combat command and uh, shooting. I'm gonna spread them out so that there's no, like, accidental collateral shots. There we go. Something like that. Cool. So here comes their suicidal march of madness. Uh, Mallet... You are full up. So... Oh, this is the... Yeah, that's a different group. I was like, what is going on there? Um, Raptor, I'm actually going to peel you off because you're pretty healthy. You're 98% immune, so I'm going to have you come south. And you are going to add to the caravan and load a feral rifle and a doomsday launcher in your caravan. So here comes the raiders through the maze. Did you guys hit a little better? Thank you. So this is the breachers that are leading the charge, which I'm not all that concerned about. I want to hit the brunt of their raid with the Doomsday. Uh, I was hoping to have Raptor incendiary to lance the breachers and whittle them down. Okay. I have uh, a purposeful sort of block there. All right, mallet. Invisible. Jump. Barbara's just back up. Raptor, go make Barracuda insane. 
shoot flamingo. Mallet, nuke. Uh, here. Don't misfire, because it will blow up in your face. Glitch. Let's go... Berserk Betty. A uh, Hyper Gidget. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, there's a lot to juggle. A fire. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Raptor here has a backup uh, Doomsday, if I need it. So here's the Doomsday launch. Very effective. And now I have another Doomsday launcher in just a second. Uh, check in back up here. They're holding just fine. Where's the... Equip it. Dude, equip it. He's on cooldown right now. Uh, he is invisible for only four more seconds, so... There we go. Uh, let's... I'm not going to have time to recast Doomsday, so I'm just going to back up until my heat drops so I can recast it. Uh, panning back up here. Betty's doing a really good job. Everybody should fire on Travis. He has frag grenades. So... I could toggle for overheat, but I think I'd be fine just um, kiting. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Let me jump out of the way. Barbara, I'm going to have you back up and go help Fangface. Because it looks like they're coming in again. Berserking Robin. And you guys focus, focus on Ayano, if you can hit her. Alright, so Mallet and Barbara. Uh, Barbara, I want you to go faster, so jump. Alright, the Colonies is fleeing, so this is the group that was coming through the kill maze. I'm almost at the heat that I need. There we go. Invisibility. Trigger. And lead the targets. Done. The rest of these guys here, I'm just going to clean up so they don't destroy my doors. And... Oh, that Doomsday Launcher sucked. I thought I led them well enough, and I obviously did not. Alright, Mallet, get out of there. Raptor, go deliver the gun to Mallet. Here, we can jump. And you can jump your last jump. Barbara, uh, you hold out because you're probably... Well, they're breachers, so they're probably not going to follow you around. There is a third Doomsday Launcher here that I can equip on Raptor. Unfortunately, Raptor doesn't exactly have um, the ability to go invisible or anything like that, so it is a little sketchier. Uh, Colonist needs treatment. Uh, that's from Friendly Fire, so let's group up so we don't have any of that. And... Raptor... Try to lead another shot. Alright, so Mallet, you have the feral rifle, and you can start firing. And I'm gonna remove you from the caravan and remove Raptor as well. Oh, but that canceled the, sh the shot that I was firing. Alright, I don't think they're gonna get through that uh, auto door. Barbara, protect Raptor. Okay, so Raptor's fired. It was a good hit. Jump! 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, this has been protected. I'm gonna start repairing the door and send everybody else to go south to deal with the breachers. Grab your rifle. And f start killing the, uh, the breacher idiots. What can I do here? Vertical Pulse would be effective if they were grouped up a bit better. Okay, let's not run from them. Uh, the big guns are coming, so... This will be good in a minute. Whew. Let's see. Vertical Pulse. 
Eh, save it. So I don't, I only have Glitch as a shield belter over here. But these shooters are going ham because they're uh, marksman and combat command. So if you take a look at the stacked bonus of both, uh, like on ducks, shooting accuracy plus three, shooting accuracy plus four, aiming time minus 40%. Yeah, this is letting a rip. Sorry, young grasshopper. You're not one for this world. Now let's have these guys join the wonderful auras. And they're fleeing. Okay, so if they're fleeing, run them down, because that's meat. My meat. Uh, Mallet, you need to recharge your locust armor, so you back up. Raptor, you join. And Barbara, you're dismissed. Delicious. All right, I think I'm going to undraft everybody so that I can actually get things done, repaired, etc. How was that? Did I do well? Did I do good? Three raids, or really two raids, three raid groups on top of one another with half of my population with the flu and uh, my injuries. I got cracked once in the leg and bruised once in the arm, and one sternum hit. That all you got, Randy? What, are you gonna give me the plague next? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, there's obviously some, um, some that got out, but I just don't have the manpower right now. I'd rather, I'd rather be recovering from the flu and the like. Uh, the meat amount that I'm at, I'm trying to get 15k, I'm at 9.5k. I think the dead bodies that are left on the ground get me up to the 15k mark, but I'm not going to dismantle the ship reactor until I'm absolutely positively sure that I've hit the 15k mark. So, to fill everyone in on what's going on right now, the last thing I want to do is to trigger something called the Great Cannibal Feast. The Great Feast, which is a 15,000 meat, uh cannibal platter. It also needs three skulls, so let me go get those three skulls, lest we forget. What does the V's do? Uh, you'll see. I mean, it's, it's, it's more or less the, the victory lap of winning this scenario. I mentioned early on, but the traditional cannibal platters here uh, you can only fit 12 eaters because they're smaller. So the large cannibal platters feed everyone. So everybody can be involved and included in the final cannibal platter. In the final feast. To not leave anyone out before we go into space. Use the skulls of important people for the feast. I don't really have skulls of important people. I mean, I have like... The problem is that you don't necessarily, you don't, you're not, you're not guaranteed to get skulls back from skull spikes, so there's no way to like, to do that properly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Are the animals hauling? Uh, they were up until just now when I sheltered them so that they didn't get killed by these raids. So they're back to hauling again. I'm not planning on removing anyone's skull and resurrecting. I actually need one more skull for the skull spike, so let me get a fourth. Just for the symmetry. So you, Baldy. Go. Oh man, that is uh, a lot of glorial meds in one bench. I'm almost out of industrial meds. Who can make industrial meds? Oh, I need material. Oh, I need cloth. Yes. 
Uh, moles is sick. Who are my other growers? Slotus, you're sick. Zleb, you're sick. Moles is sick. I see. Ambers is not sick. So Ambers, uh, could you harvest? I'm gonna lock the door behind her so she has no choice but to harvest. So we need cloth to make more medicine. Uh, that is a bottleneck right now. So we're probably tending with herbal, but since we're so far ahead of the, um, the sickness recovery game, it doesn't really matter. This is indeed the last stream. So I'm gonna put a stockpile of skulls here. Um, there we go. So that we can build the cannibal platter more easily. Who's starving? Your trainer? Seems like a personal problem. All right, meat amount is still 9.5k. We really haven't been butchering. Luckily, it is September and it's only getting colder because we're heading into winter, which means we don't really need to use freezers. I am, however, running out of room to put this stuff. Most of my Wendigos are getting pretty close to full immunity. Up in the 80s and 90 percents. 80s, I guess. I exaggerated. Pushing 80%, so it's it won't be long. We do have the cloth now to finish up the carpet in the new temporary grand ritual room. And then I need to have someone, I'm gonna have it be Toretto for now, um, make some advanced medicines, because we really don't have any. King Dan Ironfoot, thank you for the follow. Build a storehouse or put a launcher in the cold room. Um, once this is fully finished, I'll start storing human meat in here. I'm just waiting for the carpets to be done. So we can appreciate what it looks like briefly before I uh, fill it with meat. Is there immunity gain percent in numbers? Uh, sort of. Margin numbers. So Marauder is the closest to sick. And then Zleb is basically immune. Okay. How's the temperature? Oh, the temperature's fine. It's it's not gonna, unless I get a heat wave, it's not gonna go above freezing anytime soon. So that shouldn't be an issue at all. I do need is a stupid light here. There we go. Now I can work a little faster. Well, the hospital's almost recovered from. Oh, not another social fight. One thing I didn't check, and I don't think I need to check, but do we get it? Did we get any permanent injuries from those raids? I don't believe the answer is yes. No missing organs, none of that stuff. We're good. Oh, posture check, you got it. How am I? I'm pretty good. I'm a little sad that this uh, long running series is ending, but very happy with, um, there's still some surprises left. So I'm very happy with the surprises that I stayed up till like two in the morning last night working on for you all. So I'm sort of eager to see your reaction. Should be good. Don't take my word for it. You'll have to stick around to see it. Them's the hook. Are synthetic organs an ideology in addition? No, they're part of uh, EPOE. Expanded prosthetics and organ engineering. Which adds advanced bionics and synthetic organs and the like. That's been a, a mod that's been around for like years now. Pretty fun one though. If you want. Bionic Super Soldier. So we're almost at the 10k mark, which is two-thirds of the meat required. Again, a little reminder, we have the focus above my head, which is acquire. And in order to do that, 
I'll fill everyone in. Uh, we're trying to get the 15,000 meat required to build the Great Feast, Great Cannibal Platter. So 15k is what we're headed for. We're finally starting to repair things that got damaged in that raid. And most of these flu-stricken are very close to full recovery. They're now pushing 90s. Uh, Tyranner, thank you for the sub. Oh, the raid crown. Prepare a while in the southwest corner. Uh, I don't think mortaring them is all that effective. Oh, there's three groups. No, 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 no. Uh, when I said southwest, I meant northeast, northwest, southwest. Uh, so three groups of raiders. Let's see. I like relying on my ally for one of these groups. So I'll, where are they coming in? They're coming in the north. So they'll fight the north people, but they'll probably lose. Things I need to do is, A, animals need to go back inside the ranch. Everybody else is set on inside. That's still been true because we, we have so much work to do indoors that we don't really need to leave. Um, check in for doom level weapons. So this is crown raid. They're very, very well geared and armored. Uh, they have shield belts and, and cataphract armor. But as far as I can tell, they don't have any doomsday launchers or anything like that. No, they don't. Um, I'm going to anti-grain one of them. Thank you for tuning in to When It Goes, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 23rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind that the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch live streams of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to support me as a content creator, you can think about joining Discord, becoming a Patreon patron, or becoming a Twitch subscriber. The links are all in the description. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for everybody that directly or indirectly supports the channel, and I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.